Good morning, friends. What a gorgeous morning. The sun's coming up. The smoke from the chimney's just uh, slightly rising. There's hardly any wind. Well, I got an early start today and no logging, but I am cutting up the last load here that I dumped instead of moving it into position. I'm gonna cut it where it sits because my Rugged Made splitter will be here hopefully in just a couple days. So I'm gonna just get to work, get a bunch of rounds uh, ready because we're gonna rip through it once that's here. This is all oak here, running the new chainsaw. I started filming a video on that, but this is the 545 Mark II, it's a professional one. Came from Lowe's, just the biggest one that they had. It's honestly, really, really good, very lightweight. This is my last play day. I've been off for a week from work, so I have to work 16 hours this weekend on Saturday and 16 on Sunday. So that's uh, that's the price to pay for the week off. But I'm gonna get some good work done today. Probably work on the new stacking uh, area over here that I showed in one of the last videos. Um, just start get that marked out where I want to put stuff. And then I need to go find some free pallets, hopefully. So lots to do. Pretty excited for uh, the splitter. Just get started with this. It'll be nice to have it on hand, see it drying and I may work on a firewood kiln. I don't know if I've said in past videos, but if you know me, my mind is always working, trying to improve processes, make things better, faster, more efficient. I'm a big fan of efficiency. So I got a commercial dehumidifier from Facebook Marketplace for a couple hundred bucks recently. My brother-in-law has a bunch of thick insulation, like four by eight, sheets that he's going to give me and for starting off i think i might just make a kiln big enough to hold three of those totes with a fan and a heater and the dehumidifier and then box it all in and i'll probably do it in my barn just because it's more temperature controlled but i think that'd be kind of cool and see how fast i can dry green firewood and is it cost effective to do it that way eventually i would like to do a shipping container version of that so i could dry many full cord at a time cut green wood and sell it two weeks later completely dry that's my idea of uh, a little bit more efficiency so we will see carrying this pile of parts to the barn. The tip is actually locked up. That's a new one for me. So I'm gonna get the air compressor out and a pick and try to dig it out. It is locked up, I can't even move it. All right, so I got the bar unstuck. I just, um, I had to put the bar in a vise and then I had to tap it with a flat uh, like punch or whatever just to move it spray wd-40 in there um, one thing about this side cover on the pro saws do you see that well done husqvarna that is slick 
so the nuts are captured in this and you don't lose them so big thumbs up on that i'm uh i'm impressed that's such a simple solution but it just makes life easier so back to it This one's always a pain to mow around just because it's so close to the other trees in the front there and getting a trailer in this section will be a, a lot easier with this one gone. The van's just big, the trailer's big, so we're going to take this one out too. Many hours later. 